Today is a special day for the bone cloud. To the untrained eye, this just looks like a random amount of MMR. But to the viewer who pays attention to detail, they would know that we are only a few wins away from reaching top 100 Grandmaster MMR, our second big goal after hitting the gym. Let's do it. A 5-2 Terran. All right, this is a perfect victim, guys. We cannot lose this one because this would be freaking minus 30 MMR or whatever. And if we win this game, maybe we'll actually reach 5-6 for the first time. As you can see, we're 55-85. Um, I think that's already our peak MMR. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. But if we win, we get 5-6, which is like a new 100, which is just really cool. First game, I also always need to focus a little bit extra on the opening because I, I need to get into the mood of bone clouding. So far, I think we're looking pretty good. Let's see if I can get the perfect timing on that. Yeah, that looked nice. All right, depot in the main. The bone cloud is set up. Feels good, man. Welcome everyone to another beautiful bone cloud episode. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe. Don't miss any future videos. I post so many challenges and fun and educational content every week. Make sure to not miss out on those. It was okay. Like I did, I didn't get all my SCVs lined up to return minerals at the right time, but it was good enough. Honestly, for the first game of the day, I did not mind this at all. Now I don't think we've played against this guy before, so I also don't know his preference for builds or anything like this. As always, I'm the most afraid of cheese. One thing that happens on this map, uh, or did happen to us once, is that the guy literally proxied here, and then there was actually nothing we could do against it. So uh, might actually check up there. On small maps, maps like this, I, I could consider going to the natural as well. It's probably a little bit better, to be honest. For now, let's stick to the standard. This is my warm-up game, after all. And on warm-up games, I don't like to do anything crazy. I just want to, you know, play a nice macro game, not rely on my micro too much. Which, I can't really avoid playing the bone cloud. I get in very heavy micro situations a lot of the time. But maybe. At least if we don't get cheesed. I'm, I'm going to check up here. Normally I would scout directly with this SCV, but now I'm actually going to check up here. Just because th this this location is just the scariest. He could be proxying me anywhere, and I would probably be okay with it. But this weird high ground over here is just too much. I'm going to go around. I feel like we've been playing a lot of very high MMR opponents. It's, it seems a bit unusual to me that we got like a, a nice warm-up game. And, and once again, I always say it's so funny to me that these guys are my warm-up games now, the 5-2. Because at some point I was playing 4-3s and I'd be like, damn, that's such a high MR play for the bone class. It's going to be rough. But now if I meet a 5-2, I'm like, hell yeah, that's a nice war on this guy. Got to keep that SCV there for a bit. Uh, can I? Okay. Ooh. Actually getting more hits off than I thought I would. I can chase this. Uh, it might not be the best idea. Got another hit off. Wow. Okay. Another one? <gasps> Can I? This would be insane. Oh no, I made a Reaper on Marine an accident. Punch it! Punch it! No! Why are you like this? Can we out micro him? Yes, we can! Punch it? Where was this? The Marine. No, okay. I'm scared. Like, I actually hate making Marines on accident, but... Um, <laughs> I guess if you walked up the ramp, it would have helped me a lot. And that was a good micro battle. That's the things you need when you do the Moon Cloud. Those early little traits that go your way. Uh, it, it honestly helps an insane amount. I don't know if you guys remember my game against Nikorak. We played one guy that was 6k MMR. And the trades just didn't go my way. And then yeah, it ended up like that as well. Yeah, I can out micro this for sure. Can I kill that one maybe? Please, let me kill it. Please. Please. Ah, it's so close. Yes, there we go. <laughs> actually, I might be able to... Wait, I have a Hellion. I can actually totally pressure this. That is crazy. When do you get the pressure with the bone cloud? The answer is you don't. But now, I actually do a little bit. He's probably making a cyclone. Oh yeah, he is. Looks like. He has two marines. Was that four marines up there? I honestly couldn't tell. It looked like a lot of units anyway. Didn't want to deal with it. Okay, doing some good damage here actually. Just denying his base is already pretty good. A tank. Okay. Oh, I would love to kill that heli. I'm gonna go into the main. Gonna be a big move. Tank drops are always scary, so... Yeah, exactly. Bam! There we go. Yeah, this is really good. You can actually heal the SCVs. This is a funny interaction where I can't really kill his stuff. Because he can heal them. Maybe I can jump into the natural now. 
Yeah, this is so good. If, if, if I allowed him to just tank drop me, uh, I would actually have a really hard time. But now... Oh, wait, he made a Cyclone after the tank? Absolute Psycho. Okay, now how can I deal with this drop? I'm not so sure. I'm gonna make a depot up here actually for a vision. Take my map presence so he can't just walk up to me for free. Oh, he, he already has two tech left. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Big. I don't have a scan. I wish I had a scan here. Oh, I'm gonna kill the Metamark. Let's go. That is so big. And now I actually have the lead. I was, you know, up until this point, it was all scary. But now I actually have gotten myself the lead in this game. I needed like three moves to go my way for that, really. Oh, another Cyclone dead. That is the fourth move going my way. Yeah, this game is just going perfect so far, guys. This is a prime example of a clean, good bomb cloud. Now, the game is not won yet. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go for two Ravens and then I will push. Just like the right amount. Like, you can't really walk up a ramp like that uh, before having a good amount of air. And because I did kill his medevac, I am actually allowed to move out on the map, which is great. If they're, if they're, especially, you know, normally your base is already exposed to a medevac. But especially if you're doing the bone cloud, like, there's like five angles this drop can come from, you know. The Cyclone in the back there. The cy Cyclones are too fast. They always walk in front of your army and die. It's, uh, it's, it's unpleasant, to say the least. Oh, wait. He's not here. This is a position and a half. Is it? Can I, I don't know if it reaches. Yeah, it does. I gotta scan that. Oh, both of them reach. <gasps> I almost got that freaking raven. Ah, oh, man. Now it actually ended up in a bad trade for me. I lost two tanks. And only killed one. I did almost kill the raven, but obviously almost killing something doesn't really have a value. So definitely not a good trade for me there. And I wanted to go into mech from here because it just feels a little bit more solid. Like if I'm going to have to make stim from like these barracks out here, it's a little bit sketch to say the least. So I definitely will play mech, but I might not have the space anymore now. As that did set me a bit behind again. Wait, where the hell are you guys going? Why did, why did two SCVs going here? What the hell was that? How did I queue that on accident? My opponent a freaking mind controller? That did not seem cool. Okay. Wait, he does not have units here. I, I mean, there's like no marines. There's actually no marines with this army. I'm gonna try to get the same position again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my. Oh yes, this is big. Oh, this is so big actually. I'm gonna kill everything. No, I killed my own raven. I literally killed everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was terrible. You guys see that? Alright. <laughs> I may have killed my own raven, but it did not cost me the game. Efficiency in TVT, 200%. Very, very good. Good start, guys. Let's go again. Oh, we got a rematch. We got 10 MMR from that game, meaning that this game would actually put us over the 5-6 edge, which was really cool. Now, I always when I get a rematch, I fly to the other base. So the last game I flew to the third, now I'm going to fly to my natural. And since it's actually, I'm going to YOLO it up hard and I'm going to fly to the to the third. And the reason is, is I want to take this goal as my natural, as I have done before. I just really like that play in TVT, so I'm going to go for it again. Riding good luck and fun during my bomb cloud for some reason. Don't advise you guys doing that. As always, we're going to pretend this is a build. Why? <laughs> okay, let me set my camera hotkey straight. I can even take this base if I want. There's nothing wrong. Guys, at this point, let's be real. If you don't know the bomb cloud, you are the weird one, okay? If you don't know that this is the meta, then I don't know. You must have been living under a rock. You know? We've gotten millions and millions of views on YouTube on the bomb cloud. Everyone knows it exists. If you don't, then that's crazy. Innovative tactic. I mean, I, I would normally pretend that it's a normal build and say like, oh no, this is standard, but I'll take the compliment. Uh, because I, I actually do feel pretty innovative doing this. How do you pronounce that word? Innovative? Innovative? Innovative sounds more normal. To you guys, I probably sound really stupid though. But I definitely take that compliment on the bomb cloud. The bomb cloud is one of my finest artworks out there, so definitely not going to say no to that. One of my hotkeys is messed up. Oh, it's this one. Do you guys ever have it when you spam through your hotkeys and one of them is not right? And you're just 
trying to figure out what the hell you messed up in your setup. Not enough. All right. Now the thing that sucks about me being here is that he ex he expects me to fly to the to the third base again, right? Like it's very likely there's a proxy here, for example. Um, but I just really wanted the gold base. Normally I would always switch it up in a rematch, but now I just want to go for that gold base, and that's that's my only reasoning for being here. Now a 5k cheese, a 5.2k cheese would obviously be pretty devastating. Kind of hard to out micro those at this uh, level. Uh, no, I almost made the mistake of making my depot before the factory again. Feels like I've done that so many times in this show, especially towards the start. Not recently, but still. I was very tempted to make the depot before. And then my factory units would just be too late. Uh, this dope is going to go there. Why not? You know, why not? This Reaper should be out of his base by now, so I can actually have a little sneak peek with this SCV. Okay. I think I can kill this. Oh, good micro by him, actually. Okay. This depot... Oh, I got a hit out. That's really nice. This depot is actually in a little bit of danger. But I pulled this Reaper back by doing this, which is cool. Okay, th this is such a good scout, actually. Now I know that he's only going to make three units and not five. So I can actually comfortably make a reactor after this. Unless the timings are so messed up that he already has three Reapers. I do not think that is the case. If it is the case, I will die and I will feel very bad about it. And you guys will have the... Uh, you guys will be allowed to write in the comments that I'm a silly goose. Actually, you can guys, you can write that anyway. If I, if, I'm, if I die, you can call me a stupid goose instead. Make it a bit more harsh. And, and oh, this gold base is going to be fantastic. You, you know what I'm kind of afraid of? This guy is clearly not a YouTube viewer, right? Because he, he doesn't know the build. So because I'm taking the gold on this map, it kind of makes it look like a legit strategy if you go for the gold. You know what I mean? So he might start using this on the ladder thinking he's actually doing like a 5.6k MMR strategy, you know? <laughs> that would be uh, slightly unfortunate. If you lose MMR because of me, I apologize. Uh, I promise if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get it all back. That's how it works, right guys? Make sure to confirm in the comments if it works. Subscribing to me means you get more MMR. Actually, that does work if you watch the Terran schools. Because I get so I hear that so much about the Terran schools. People that watch my Terran schools, I've had people telling me they legit gained 500 MMR or even more. And I'd be like, holy shit. Is that really the impact? That is that is just crazy. Always love it when you guys update me like that. Yeah, I want to move out a little bit because... Yeah, I don't want to get absolutely... Okay. What is this? It's a small squad. Yeah, the, the tank drop you wanted to do is actually scary. Nice, we might get one unit at least. Yeah, we're gonna get one unit at least because of the Hellion. I'm trying to look on the minimap to see uh, what is going on at the same time. No, oh, Hellion, come on, do a better job than that, buddy. Stop getting blocked behind the Reaper, you silly goop. Okay, so there is the tank drop that I expected. Oh, he actually uh, boxed in his own units. Very nice. No, don't kill your own stuff. Psycho. Hey, actually, he's not doing that much damage there, if you think about it. He is just denying one of my bases. But he's not actually killing any workers at all. Now, one thing that I do regret is that I accidentally made this second Cyclone. I did not want it. I'm sorry, Mr. Cyclone. But I uh, did not mean to build you. Uh, I have enough units to go in here, actually, pretty comfortably, I think. I want to get the lock on to that medevac. Oh, I saved that! No way I saved that Cyclone. And I got the medevac, the micro, guys. We, we are honestly just popping off today. Every engagement just goes our way. Uh, can we catch that? That is actually an annoying depot to lose. I'm going to be blocked. So I better at least catch it. Yeah, I'm going to catch it. Greedy, silly goose, man. You're a greedy, silly goose. Oh, and I even micro that one perfectly. I don't know, man. I, I, I guess we are actually just popping off today. I mean... I, I welcome it because, you know, 5-6 MMR, that sounds like a delicious MMR for me to reach. Top 100 Grandmaster sounds even better. So I did get Supply Lock pretty heavily and let's keep in mind the uh, economic disadvantage I'm at from the start. Plus my base being denied. I feel like I should be at least 5 or 7 SCVs down or something like that. Obviously that is something you cannot deny. Or forget about. Ignore. What the right word is there. The Marine kill. That's small. Actually, I'm going to try abuse this map, but I need one siege tank for it. You can abuse this map really hard. 
Like, this map has some insane tank spots. No, my Reaper died. Wait, he actually... Like he's, he plays a bit weird. It was the same in the last game where he just... He does not have a lot of Marines, you know. He's, he basically just makes the tanks and Vikings, which... I guess is kind of legit in a way, but... Uh, still a bit questionable. Hey, let's see. I want this tank spot on his gases. That's what I want. Yes. Maybe he's gonna panic F2. Watch this. This is this is high level tank. He's gonna panic F2. Maybe I can snipe a tank. Uh, it's a trade. It's not exactly a snipe. It's a trade. Oh, we're gonna get the Raven. The Raven. Yes, let's go. Huge. Okay, he's yoloing on it. He's gonna lose some units for that. Maybe two Vikings if I'm lucky. In any case, he lost uh, a lot of SCVs for it, too. Oh no. Iron Siege at the worst possible timing. Wait, does he have enough units? He doesn't have enough units for this! Oh my goodness, what a trade, guys! Two tanks gone for him. That is beautiful. Well, since I have this gold base, I guess I can actually make... I can make more barracks than usual. Yeah, why not? Oh, this was my base. I had the wrong hotkeys, I mean. How was I supposed to know I was gonna build my base there? Wait, is he gonna push this from the high ground? There's no way. That would not work, I think. Get my double eBay there. Uh, I'm not sure how far the sensor or the, the watchtower reaches. I wanna see it's just out of range of the watchtower, so he might walk into me. Yeah, I mean, I actually have such a big army. And now the gold base is just going ham for me, you know. But he actually has one more air unit than me. Oh no, he doesn't. Where's his stuff at? Do not see it at this point in time. Another scan. Okay, th this is when it actually starts getting scary because, yeah, I just have so many holes in my defense, obviously. Uh, not because I've misplaced my stuff or anything, but just <laughs> there's too many angles to attack me on. So a sensor tower on this is going to help me a lot once I get that down. I'm using so many scans. I think his army might be here. That's why I'm sieging up on this side. I have vision on the on the right. There's no army here. Scary. Scary, scary, scary stuff, guys. I thought I started that combat shields, by the way. Not sure what happened there. Okay, are we actually... Just, did he just decide to back off and play a full-fledged macro game with me? Respect. Uh, but that is the, the strength of the bomb cloud, of course. Macro games. Yeah, I think... If I had to guess, I would say there's a drop on the way somewhere. I'm actually going to make a turret here and a turret there. Seems random, but I promise you I've thought at least five seconds about it. I can never have him attack from this side though. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Mm, can we siege here in time? I really hope we can. Oh, wait, are you sure about that? Are you sure about that, my man? That seems like a very brave decision right there. Oh my goodness. This is absolute carnage right now. These units are locked in, guys. These units are all gonna die. I'm gonna keep a little bit of uh, stuff there. And then I will kill all of these units in the main for free, hopefully. Unless I mess up. One tank sieging here should be pretty much the deal breaker already. And this one can siege a little bit deeper. Got my... Oh no, I didn't make my armor yet. Okay. Then this one. I actually do not have combat shields. Oh no, I do. Perfect. What a timing. That is some YouTube plot armor right there, guys. That timing right there. Okay, there is stuff on the way here. Obviously, didn't really lose anything there. I gotta bring these two tanks back in. You would think it's dangerous. But to a Bomb Cloud fan, you know I'm in perfect control of this chaos right now. That is a little bit too close, my friend. That is a little bit... No, he's going for the CC! You absolute psychopath! What is that move? I feel so bad that he got rewarded for doing that. Like, I honestly feel... I really wish he didn't get rewarded for that, because that's just an absolute psychopath move. Oh my goodness. He went for the command center, guys. This guy is an absolute nutter. Can you believe it? And he's gonna have to pay for his crimes. <laughs> I completely killed the CC. How did I allow that to happen? Wait, he has a base here already. He has four bases? Damn. This macro was also kind of on point, huh? I thought I made medivacs at some point, didn't I? Can I target us? Oh, 
cool. I wish I could shell all of those. Wait, this guy... Is he playing tankless? Who the hell plays without tanks? Oh. Okay, that is gonna be very painful for him. I can tell you guys that now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was actually disgusting. You wanna see the units loss of that last fight real quick? Okay, so I'm 5k ahead. L look at his units loss right here. It's gonna go up so fast. <laughs> oh my god. That was like almost 4k resources just like that. Bam. All right, guys, 5.6k LMR has been achieved. Let's do one final game. Oh, I was, I, for a second, I thought we got the same guy again for the best of three. But we got an almost 5.9 Zerg, which means that that is even higher LMR than our hardest opponent that we beat in the last episode. But it's very close. I think his LMR might be 30 higher. If we beat this person, we have another record, which would just be fantastic. Now it is... Oh no, I totally forgot to bomb cloud. Okay, I, 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 we did this before. Relax, guys. Calm down. We will just do the delayed bomb cloud and win on accident again. That's how it happened last time. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure we won at least. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I just like randomly every five episodes this happens where I just forget to bomb cloud for like 10 seconds. All right. Now we do have to take this base, of course, because else it will be a little bit too tragic. Uh, is that barracks worth making fast? I don't even think it is because I need gas. I'm just going to make it as soon as this lands. Get like a little bit extra minerals. Obviously nothing uh, significant. <sighs> Alright. Rough start guys. But like I said we have climbed back from this before. Sometimes it happens. Sorry. I know I know it's weird. But with all these challenges I'm doing guys. My brain sometimes is just... You know. And uh, yeah that's what happened this time. It's already 10.30pm. Uh, I grinded a lot today. I actually won a lot of practice games. And now, in the late deep night, I'm here trying to grind for my top 100 GM. And sometimes my brain is just a little bit tired. But let's see if we can still do it. I know it's a, it's a setback, but who knows? You know, who knows? We do have the natural instead of the third. And honestly, on this map, I don't mind having the third. This is my favorite map for the bone cloud. At least this third area is super nice. But still, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try my best here. I could have made my barracks there for like a quick wall off. It would have been a sick mind game if I did that, honestly. I wish I grabbed the opportunity to do that. That would have been that would have been nuts. Go ahead. I'm gonna take this as my natural, and then take this as my third, and then I actually have a pretty nice linear setup here. That doesn't sound too bad to me. I wonder how far behind I am compared to a normal bone cloud. Oh, I messed up my hotkeys again. Of course I did. That's a classic. Take a drink every time I do the bone cloud, and I mess up my camera hotkeys, guys. Don't don't die though. Please. Yeah, let's see. Do I have it correct now? I do have it correct. Now, I didn't see the Zerglings move out. He's checking for proxy raxes. Oh, wait, guys. This might actually... Wait, I sound excited, but it's a bad thing now I think about it. This might actually work out very poorly for us. Because Trifax, he is a massive Elazer fan. And one thing Elazer does is Elazer does not scout. He doesn't even check with his overlords. There's a real chance this guy won't even know I'm bone clouding. And thus will be completely immune to any kind of mind games. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit rough. I think I'm just going to play mech. Just like the other Bone Cloud game where I beat the 5-8 Zerg. Definitely check that game out of the last episode. It was insane. Hardest opponent we beat so far. Highest MMR at least. And I, I do think that felt pretty nice. Did I play 3cc back then? I'm pretty sure I played 3cc. I'm actually not 100% sure. See, I think there's yeah, there's, there's no overlord here. If I had to guess, I would say there's an overlord here, maybe on that pillar. Is that even a pillar? Maybe that one? I think that's the one I was looking for. Okay. Wait, that third base is a little bit late, isn't it? That one. Good. Get another one. Nope. Now, when do I make my third CC? I think I need to get it sooner than later, else my economy is just going to be too much in shambles. I'm already going to start walling this off. That seems like a good idea. Now he sees I have all the buildings in my natural. If he scouted this, he would probably think I took an insanely greedy third base, right? Because this can kind of look like it's just a low ground wall off. That is actually a build Terrans do sometimes. I know Special likes to do it from time to time. You just go for a low ground wall off real fast. And that's it. 
So maybe he thinks I'm being insanely greedy, which could either be bad for me or good for me, because if he attacks me, I am, you know, the bull cut is actually pretty greedy, believe it or not. Uh, even if I have my eco sucks, it is a pretty greedy build order. And I do not want to get punished like that. Six Hellions. I would love to expand before making the BC at least. I know this guy likes his Ling run vice, which is... That would make it a little bit rough. If I moved out with these Hellions. But then again, I, you know, I do kind of have to make moves, of course. Okay, that BC is not going to be too late. I'm going to start my next two Hellions before the depot. Even though I'm going to be supply book for a bit. Just because I want specifically those two Hellions to be out. He can get some... He has a lot of drones. Link's coming out. Alright. I'm going to move back now. Because he will most likely launch a counter attack if I have to guess. You know, I can honestly make a really sick bunker up position here. If I want this and this, my position is going to be crazy to be honest. Actually, I'm going to vault this up first. Then I only have one point of entry, which would be nuts. Okay, so Overlord Scout's my main. Obviously, this is going to cause a massive amount of confusion. Uh, which is good. <laughs> For us, at least. I hope that barracks is, is fast. Because that might be a little bit problematic. Okay, so we got our wall off here. Now I'm going to very aggressively drive forward. I don't know how many links there are. Let's see, we do have to take some risks, of course, as always. Okay. Oh, that's a good amount of drone kills. This should be big hits, I think. We get the inner part. Ex yeah, huge hits, actually. Let's freaking go. Uh, I'm going to teleport to BC into the third because his queens are here now. Let's see how many drones we can target. That's looking pretty good. That's a lot of drones dead. All right. No, not the sport. All right, guys. Wait, why are my SCVs walking across the What the hell are you guys doing? I do not want to lose my uh, my BC while I'm correcting my SCVs. That would be very tragic. Okay, I, I would guess we killed about 20 drones there, which... Yeah, it's not going to put me in the lead against Zerg, but it's definitely evening up the playing field a little bit, even if I lost 8 Hellions for it. Don't mind that at all. Now I'm going to get my armories going. That's a good position for them. Okay. I, I, I never want to get, you know, have my BC on low health unless I have my TP available. No, 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 no. If you kill me, I swear I will hate you. Okay, thank you. You're, you're a cool guy. I was just kidding. Like you a lot, buddy. All right, stress. I feel like this has been a very fast-paced game, uh, especially for the Bone Cloud. Now he's got... I wonder how confused he is. You know, the, the Bone Cloud is getting pretty famous, so I don't know if... If he's just like, oh, I didn't realize it was the Bone Cloud account, but now I know what it is. Or if he's just like, what the hell is this guy doing? What's wrong with him? Did he not play the tutorial? Yeah, I, want, I don't even see the Marine. Oh, there it is. I was like, what the hell is shooting these, li these things down? Okay, three base setup. Looks nice. I'm going to go again with my Zerglings. Uh, or my Zerglings. I wish I had Zerglings, to be honest. My, my Hellions. Maybe he doesn't have roaches yet. He does have a little creep. I don't like that. I'm gonna have to do something about this. Okay, so the next step for me is defend potential mutas, I think. Do I have my eBay done? It's almost done. And I a lot of stuff there, by the way. I think it's time for Yamato as well. Where's my thingy? There's my thingy. Wait. He does not have units, actually. He was being greedy. Ah, oh, but these queens are doing so much freaking damage, though. Yeah, I hate queens. Oh, that was actually... Wait, I killed almost every drone there still. That is really not bad. All right, guys. All right. Uh, I got my three BCs out. That is all I want. No more BCs for me. From this point on, we are allergic to battle cruisers. Once you get to the magic number of three, you abandon the idea of making those. I'm trying to correct all my... Uh, CCs to rally to their own mineral point, but with the camera hotkeys, it'll get a bit confusing. Now, on this map, I'm actually not sure if I also make cyclones. Normally, I would make cyclones here, but this map is probably a little bit too small to be running around. He's sending some roaches to counter. Oh, I should have made a sensor tower here, that would have been really good. This is my Yamato finishing. 
This is gonna take a while. Man, that upgrade takes so long. Holy shit. Freaking Yamato, man. Who invented that? That is crazy. I wish I had a sensor tower here. Hey, okay, there's the first corruptors. If Yamato was out, this would be so nice. Now nah, I'm just gonna have to put all these back. Okay. Um, I could consider morphing this into a PF, by the way. Morphing, transforming, however you want to call it. He might be attacking me with his uh, Roach Corruptor Force. So I do need to be very careful. Oh, I should actually repair these. Now I still can. Uh, he's killing those. Yeah, he... I would say he's not really going for a super dedicated attack, but it's honestly really hard to read. Do you have upgrades on these? He has melee upgrades, which means probably not. Okay, but when can I, I hit an attack? I'm gonna get my... Oh, I already have these upgrades going. That is really nice. I'm gonna take this base. At some point, I'm gonna have to go into ghosts. I don't want that to be already done. See if I can get a nice counter attack in with these. He's biling my stuff down. Not a huge fan of it. I do have a lot of tanks here. Does he have this base too? I hope not. Does. No drone stuff? Yeah, no drones. Ah, he's putting all of... You saw that on the minimap? All of his uh, boys going back. Okay. Should be a lot of kills. Once again, very nice. And losing these once again, not the biggest deal. Because I don't want to max out on... Um, yeah. Hellions. Let's <laughs> put it simple. Uh, but... Oh, that's a lot of bailings going in there, guys. I don't have, actually have that many tanks here. No, I can... No, I have enough, I think. Click on those bailings. I need to fly this away. Yo, this actually looks like an insane fight for me. Holy moly. Teleport that out. Yo, this looks incredible. I did lose my Thor, sadly. But the turrets are just going ham. You can see those turrets right now? Oh my goodness. No, why did you lose that? Absolute brick. I'm a brick, guys. Just tell me it's fine. Just tell me I'm a freaking brick. Shouldn't have lost that. I, I landed that command center so far off where it was supposed to be. <laughs> that was honestly a little bit embarrassing. I could have fit like two Ebays in between there. Like... How did I even get it there? Okay. Now you could wonder, do you really need these BCs? The main reason I want to keep BCs alive in a mech game like this is because if you lose the BCs, your opponent will always be completely free to morph their corruptors into brute lords. Oh no. What is this tank positioning? Okay, somehow I only killed two. Very nice. Uh, but if you have your BCs alive, they can't make Brutalers as easily, which is super cool. It's going to be a lot of Zergling kills here for me. I do have my plus two. Now the question is, do I want to drag this out to Ghosts? Or do I want to hit a timing? Because I have killed a lot of his units. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to defend that. You can see it's there. It's going to be a bit of an awkward defense, to be honest. I mean, my supply is honestly pretty high, right? If you look at my supply, this really did not look so bad. But he is still killing a lot of stuff every time. He killed my last battle cruiser there. Uh, we have to keep that in mind. Now, I did start my 3-3. It was, it's not the right time to switch into Ghost because I feel like I need five bases for that at least. Okay. I need these upgrades as well. Uh, that is a bit of a questionable move right there. Did he kill anything? I don't think he did. I, I can make this Raven again actually. I wouldn't mind having this Raven again. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna set up really well here. But pretend I am not set up by moving the rest of my units to the top. And then if he moves in there, I will actually crush his army like an ant. And then we counterattack. That's the level of foresight we need, guys. I need to clear some creep here. So I can actually take this base on the top. Obviously, I do need a little bit of a late game plan. 
Wait, I lost my barracks? Oh, right, it was in the wall. <sighs> Silly goose, I am indeed, guys. If it, any of you wrote it in the comments, I am indeed. Oh, where is this? Oh, there are the brute lords. Yo! Can I get triple snipe on these? Oh no, I don't have the mag field upgrade yet! Oh wait, I did, have, I did force them to cancel. That is pretty good. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think on, it's, it's time. It's time to go. I, I wish I had mag field. I don't, which... That might actually cost me, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't mind this fight at all. I did lose the Raven, which sucks. Oh. No, his Brutalers just finished. I think... I think that might be it, guys. I... Uh, that amount of Brutalers is so hard to deal with. I do have a few Thors. Uh, like, if I beat this army once, I'm golden. I need, like... I have a bunch of Thors making. Hey, we're gonna kill one of those. Oh, two, two Brutalers dead from the start. Not bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, my 3-3 is finished. He probably has 0-0 zero, zero on those. Maybe plus one or something? Plus one armor. Yeah, okay. Now we're good, I think. Yo, this PF is going ham right now. Need to get out of these. Yes, target the Ravagers. This fight could not have gone any better for me, I think. Like, literally. That was insane. Oh, the two Hellbats! The Hellbats providing so much value right now. Towards the Biles. I didn't even see the Biles, but I guess they were there. Come on. Thors are a bit faster, I think, right? Yeah, I mean, there's only a few left at this point. I did not... How, how did he recreep that so fast? That is a scam. Yeah, I want to I wanna get a lock on a Brutalord. My Cyclone will literally kill it. That is huge. Look at that. If you want to waste all the transfusion on that, why not? Yeah, I gotta be careful here. Okay, so he's following up with Rhodes Ravager. This is such a disgusting angle to attack on down the ramp. Oh, he's gonna attack already? He's not ready for this yet, I think. Oh, there's one Hellbat. I, I didn't see any Biles. Did any Biles drop? Oh, there they are. Okay. Uh, really not the best fight ever here. I feel like this is gonna be a really close finish. <gasps> yes! Give it to me. Oh, that's so many roaches dead. Let's freaking go, guys. He might try a counter attack. Okay, I'm gonna kill this base. I can actually take this one at the same time. You go back. Uh, I'm gonna send these two to the bottom. And these few roaches here. Almost killed all of them. Oh, I'm getting so many kills here, man. Ah, it's blocked. This is why Zerg is annoying. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Oh, he has a lot of investors. That is a problem, actually. Unless he doesn't use them. Okay. I mean, he's gonna neural those two. Oh man, I killed so many here. Uh, yeah. If he fights me head on, that'll be nice. N Neurals are gonna end this game, most likely. If he plays properly, he should win just because of Neural Parasite. Like, Neural Parasite, it does not have a counter by regular mech units. Um, so yeah, I think with the Neurals he is still gonna win this game. We can really close, but at this point, I would probably say the game is over. But actually, I killed so many drones, huh? Maybe his economy is really that bad. It's possible. I'm not really buying it, but it's possible. If he really did not like reinforce, like I have a good amount of units, you know. Hmm, maybe it's not quite over yet, guys. Maybe I can actually secure this bottom base somehow. Okay, what I was gonna say, are those locusts? What is spawning there? <laughs> yeah, I'm making a lot of cyclones to combat the neurals pretty much. I'm gonna have to CG so slowly. I'm gonna make another raven here. Oh no. Oh, okay. I have one hellbat here. I don't, I don't have a scan anymore. Yeah, actually, looking at it, I did kill a shit on those drones, huh? His supply is definitely lower than mine at this point. It's just that he has the investors, which... Yeah, there's just... There's no real proper counter here for them. If I went into Ghost, I would have a counter, but... Oh, wait, this is pretty nuts. If he wants to attack here, that would be really, really nice for me. How does that not reach? I have turrets there. 
Oh, my cyclones are doing fantastic here, guys. I, I can't. I can't believe none of my turrets reached that. That is actually so disappointing. Okay. Where did the rest of his investors go, though? He had like. He had a bunch of them. Oh, I got my raven. Nice. Okay. Do I have workers left? I must have that. Come on, come on. Kill these. Oh, yes. We're gonna get all of them. Let's go. This is huge. Yes, I actually did get all of them. And the units. Perfect, guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we can kill this base. And then, if correct. I can also deny his bases on the top now. Because now I have enough units to not have to reinforce this, if that makes sense. I'm gonna make this a PF actually, get another turret. And then I can focus on getting the top base myself. Like this map doesn't have that many bases. I do have mass cyclone though, I need some heli there. It's so funny, mech, it feels so strong. But if you don't have... Uh, Hellbats, your unit literally died to like Zerglings and Zealots and stuff. Ah, he's gonna give up. He must have not had a lot left, right? He had 60 drones, but he had literally 9 roaches max. Wow. Guys, we broke a new record. We beat this five, almost 5-9 five Zerg in a macro game. I thought it was looking really rough with the investors, but we managed to get this base saturated. Uh, honestly, very proud. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode as well. This has been fantastic. The Bone Cloud, I believe, we're on a 6 winning streak, guys. Super awesome stuff. Uh, make sure to like the video, leave comments for suggestions, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.